Okay, modelers, welcome back to news edition number four. And got some really good stuff this week, guys. I'm just going to go straight into it rather than rambling on. Um, so the first one I have up here, put the pictures up straight away. Um, it's from Zavita or, or Zvezda, or however you pronounce that name. Um, the Star Destroyer. Now this thing apparently is one to seven hundred scale, uh, like one to two thousand seven hundred scale. I'm I'm just sort of going to go with their word on this. I didn't think it would be at that scale, but while looking at the size of the thing. So it's going to be 60 centimetres long this when it's finished, which is a, a fair chunk of a model. Um, and it's going to be released in December. Now, looking at the pictures, it looks like it's fairly detailed. But something like this, a kit this size, and like being a Star Destroyer, I can see people doing some awesome stuff with this, you know, like putting lights in the, the engines at the back, um, putting fibre optics in for all the window lights and stuff like that. I mean, you can even have like... Um, something that's crashed and destroyed on a, on a surface or whatever but it's awesome to see a different company actually having to go at some of the Star Wars stuff because I mean we've had some good stuff Star Wars stuff from different companies like Bandai and that and we've had some really awful stuff too like from Revel and you know um, it's I would really love to see a, a big time manufacturer um, come out with some really nice Star Wars stuff. I mean, the, the, we're screaming for it. Not just Star Wars, but a lot of sci-fi stuff. It seems to be that, that area that's in the dark part of modelling, you know, and we, we only get sort of scraps from here and there. Unless you're into the Bandai stuff, they bring out beautiful stuff. Um, you know, like with the Gundam robots and stuff like that. Absolutely awesome. But I'm really looking forward to this coming out. Um, I'm not sure on what the price is going to be. Some of them are saying a few hundred dollars US. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be that expensive, I really don't know, but it's going to be interesting. This is one of those things I'm definitely going to get, um, well, I would love to get. I'm sort of putting a bit of money aside to save for certain kits, and this is one of the ones i really like to have a look at. But if I do get my hands on it, guys, obviously I'm going to open it up and let you guys see it. Um, when I do the build, I'll do a, a video build of it. Our next bit of news is Airfix. Now, Airfix is bringing out a 70-second scale B17G, and this is a new tool. Um, now, this has been another one of those kits that people have been waiting for for ages from one of these manufacturers. And by looking at the, the details on this, this thing looks beautiful. Um, I'm a huge B17 fan, absolutely love them. I've got, uh, I wouldn't even be able, I don't know, about 10 kits of B17s here, 72nd scale, and I've got some 48 scale ones there as well. Absolutely love these things. So I'm really looking forward to this coming out. It's another one of those kits I'm definitely going to get my hands on. Um, being such a huge B17 fan is definitely something I'm looking forward to. Um, and it's got, looks like two different types of markings in it. Um, both with the overall aluminium look, looks like it. With a bit of the um, olive drab and red tail and so on. But it's going to be interesting to have a look at it. Um, obviously you'll be able to buy aftermarket decals so that should be able to go on this thing. But yeah, something we're really looking forward to. Um, the next one is, th now this is just a, um, a bit of a comparison because Kitty Hawk's bringing out the, the SU-34 fullback in 48 scale. Now Hobby Boss is bringing this out as well, but there's been a lot of stuff online about Hobby Boss um, if it's made a real stuff up of the nose, apparently the nose is just god awful, it's just, you know, I mean I've looked at it, I'm not great at looking at shapes and comparing them. Um, it doesn't look that bad to me, but when someone done a comparison one over the other, I, I did pick it up. Um, so it looks like if you're going to buy that kit, um, someone's going to eventually make a resin nose or something to put on it, I guess, if it's that bad. Um, so that kit there apparently looks really good except for that nose. So Kitty Hawk, as we all know, Kitty Hawk's one of those ones that um, their kit's probably not the best in the world. Um, they're a little bit shoddy, some of their kits are terrible, um, absolutely awful fitting in that. So even though it looks really good, it's going to be interesting to see how it builds up. Looks like they've got the dimensions and everything right on it, um, but it's going to be interesting to see how that one builds up from Kitty Hawk. So that's one of those ones guys, it's, it, it's going to be up to you to decide which way you're going to go after you read a few reviews. Uh, I myself would like to do one, but I'm going to wait for a few reviews and um, you know, like online and that, and see exactly which one I want to go for in the end. Okay, the next one, well, as well from RMF, is uh, a Tiger One mid production. Now, this thing's got the full interior. It's another one of those kits I'm really excited for. We've got a couple of Tigers out there with full interiors, but looking at the, the way they're sort of putting up their drawings in this one, this one looks really, really nice. Now, there's already some controversy over this. Uh, apparently, the markings. 
uh, the Zimmerit finish on it. People are saying, no, no, I never had Zimmerit at this stage and blah, blah, blah. You know, when this bloke commanded the tank, it didn't have the Zimmerit and it wouldn't have had this colour. And some people are saying it's the pan's grey, other people are saying, no, it's the yellow colour. Um, so there's already controversy over this one. But honestly, guys, this is where it comes to the end of artistic licence. If people are arguing about it now, no one really knows. Um, so it's up to you, do what you like as far as I'm concerned. If you're happy with it, that's what happens in this 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 is what this hobby is about, having fun, enjoying it, and building things that you like. Okay, You don't build things to impress others. Uh, that's always been my motto on this. I just do it because I love doing it, and I love building models for myself. The ones that take my interest, they're the ones I've built. And it's going to be the same with this thing, guys. Build it if you want to build it, and do it the colours you want to do it. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the news for this week. Um, I will have another news coming up, um, maybe within a week, um, because there's been some, some really cool new releases from... Um, Airfix and a few different companies that I really think we should share and talk about. Uh, so I'll try and bring that out hopefully within a week after this one comes out. But anyway guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subbed, sub below and I'll see you guys in the next video.